they're trying to get back to the business of the people for the people kind of idea. Now, whether you agree with their political ideas or not, it's like right now it, it we're in a position to where we can stay on the same path or we can find something a little bit better. And they seem to be a little bit better. It may not be. It's like I always said when it, when it came to like Elon Musk or Peter Thiel, like I'm aware that our visions don't line up completely for what the perfect world is. But today they are uh, a friend. Whereas tomorrow they could very well be my enemy. But at the moment, having those powerful friends and backing those powerful friends is the best we got. Look, I'm a, I'm a single vote, single issue voter. Essentially, I I'm for the side that I think is less likely to force puberty blockers down my daughter's throat at some yeah. point because she likes sports or, you know, uh, she likes the color blue. Oh, well, must be a boy like whatever side is against that is my friend. That's right. I'm pretty simple on these on these elements. Uh, I hate to, to bring it down to that level. We need to get Tom Longo on the show or on our yeah. all our shows at some point uh, to discuss what he just talked about on the Duran because what he talked about on the Duran is really interesting about the um, uh, about corporate banks um, uh, basically being the bulwark, the Fed almost being the bulwark against this globalization regime. Specifically, I think to to react against something like a CBD, CBDC or uh, a globalized uh, or a, the new sort of war bonds that they're trying to push in Europe to kind of save the euro uh, and create this new euro zone, which will be create this whole global hegemonic blob, massive blob. What's refreshing on this, and I think this is where a lot of... I think we need to be careful with this. Like, just, just real quick, let me throw this in there. Yeah. Um, they're... The, the Fed had a prep project last year to where they instituted uh, a global currency that was being tested in 11 different states, I want to believe. Um, I, I haven't looked at the article in a long time. I could go find it at, uh, fairly quickly. I know I put it up in my sub stack uh, last year at some point. Um, but they're, they're testing these things too. But they what they don't want to do is get locked down into this global like currency. They don't want the global standard to set the standard for the Fed. They the Fed wants to have the the ability to 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 step out and and kind of do things their way, the way they've always done things. And um if 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 it if it boils down to where like our choices are like we embrace the Fed today so that we can kill the global uh financial uh, market oh, okay fine i guess we can do that but there's going to be a day where we're gonna to have to burn down that building <laughs> the way i i was telling a friend of mine when we were discussing this is the with vivek challenging the central bank digital currency and getting trump to swear an oath against it and all that mm. i said i'm almost positive what's coming is uh you, what they're not going to allow a central bank digital currency because what they want is a digital currency that's issued by a central bank right and so it's going to be, you know, when you say central bank digital currency, when you give it a name, then something can be badged with that name. And then all you have to do is just not give that name to this other thing. Right. And well, no, it's not a central bank digital currency. It's a digital currency that's been issued by a central bank. What are you talking about? It's like what they've done with ESG. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because people mm -hmm. caught on to ESG. And so they started coming up with all these other names. Well, it's just gatekeeps. It's almost a humiliation ritual. To, to basically bring people on side. I think a lot of this stuff, the DEI, the, the, the Skittles, all the rest of it, is a mimetic worm to simply say, this is a hard line. Like it's in a weird way that e equality or the quest for equality is actually creating massive differentiation and the differentiation between the in-group and out-group. So the in-group is like, you have to buy in to this all new hyper-progressive degen uh, uh, program to be part of our, to, to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're, that you're in with us because everyone, because it's, it's such a hard stance. Like, like it's either you're in or you're out. There's, there is no middle line with this. Uh, 
and you're starting to see places like Russia where now they're they're getting like base beyond all base where they're treating homosexuality now in in, in hospitals. Uh, they've you know they've uh, banned Pornhub. They're going hard on the other side to completely differentiate themselves from like we are not this whatever the hell this is we are not that. And I think there's a, a huge strength in that. And the the current regime has has played itself out into this hyper incompetent, no capital, degenerate regime that only signals to the, only signals to other incompetent, degenerate, scared regimes. It doesn't signal to anyone else like China and Russia or India or a lot of Eastern Europe, Europe or anyone who actually wants sovereignty. The whole BRICS notion is essentially a, a coalition of, of, of countries who is like, no, we want sovereignty. We, we want economic uh, or political sovereignty from this giant G -A, G -A, gay blob that's threatening to to overtake us. That, not necessarily. Yeah. South Africa is not like that. Well, See, South Africa, South, South Africa, Africa, South Africa was strong armed into BRICS because China does all their infrastructure. Sure. So, so it's sure. like who, who, like lose lose these lose these contracts, you know, that like cost you pennies on a dollar if you if you go against what we want. Sorry, Tommy. I, I I have been corrected by Cooper. I shouldn't have said uh, G A E or gay. I should have been saying piss drinkers. The, the piss drinker regime. <laughs> Damn is, pillow biters! Is signaling. <laughs> Let's read out some super chats. Uh, Iron yeah, Shirt yeah. says I sent a super chat over to Rumble. Jason, here's another seven. Here's another low oh seven. Great discussion. Got some past post libertarian roundtable stream nostalgia a little bit yeah this is this is a very uh it, and pete is outnumbered we have three orthodox christians to 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 one roman catholic so that's uh that's always an interesting part um and cooper sends five dollars saying ramas <laughs> rama rama mommy wants to import five million shit-eating mud people yes uh who are also Pete, drinkers. pete's so trying to pity. import 50 million romans damn it <laughs> Pasta for all, gentlemen. <laughs> Pete, I don't, I, I don't know what, how long we have you for, bud. Uh, do we want to keep going? Do we want to get into Gundo? Uh, do we have you for a bit longer so we can get into Gundo? Um, yeah, I mean, I wanted to say something though. I think it was people really need to go watch um, Oliver Semiagog's stream with Matt the other night. It really, yeah. It, it really shined a light on just how ideology is complete fucking cancer. You know, you step out of libertarianism because it's like, oh, you, you know, it's I don't want to have an identity of something like that. And then people just jump right into another identity, whether it's national socialist or white nationalist and all this. And it's no different than being a libertarian. You're not going to get your perfect order. You're not, it's not going to happen. Sorry, I, I hate to say it. Maybe locally you can do something that'll look <coughs> sort of like we want it to do, but you're not going to, you, you have to play, you know, you have to play with the cards you're dealt. And if you're out there going, oh, Pajit this and Jew that all the time, and I'm one of the biggest, I'm one of the biggest, um, biggest people guilty of that. You're, you just have to understand that there is like, what are you going to do? What, what solve solve that problem for me right now? What is your plan? If you're, you know, if you're one of these people who the Jews is it, it, everything, what's your plan? You get, you have a plan to get them to kick them all out of the country. You have a plan to remove them from the highest offices. You have, I mean, what's your plan? Oh, you don't have a plan. You're just like a libertarian saying, end the state, bro. All critique, no substance. Well, remember, yeah. um, remember when uh, Cyprian first moved to um, Saipan, he, he warned, warned of this. He was saying, you need to start building your ark. You can't be focused on those that have aggrieved you all the time. Like, have like if you like, I've been divorced twice, and my first divorce was terrible. And I was bitter for years. 
And I came to the realization that I am giving this person more control over my life than they deserve. I am giving this person more attention than they deserve. And they're not thinking about me or worried about me near as much as I'm worried about them. And coming to that realization set me free to, to actually start moving forward with my life. But it took a little bit of time. It took some healing. And that's what, that's what you look at when you look at these people like pinned down in these ideologies. They're so focused on what others are doing to them that they're paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's the thing too is, but it's also, well, it's also just reality. You know, what, what's one of the, when we, when we all jumped out of libertarianism, what was one of the biggest things that we said? They just don't live in reality. Well, well I mean, I, I, mean, I said Tucker Carlson called Hillary Clinton's foreign policy libertarian. And I was like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so what's the problem? You know, it's like, okay, so how do you solve, how do you solve, if you think the JQ, if you, if you think that's such a big problem in the United States, okay, what's your plan to solve it? Keep posting on Twitter. If you think that Hajits are the biggest problem, what's your plan to solve it? What are you going to do? Literally, what the fuck are you going to do? You're not going to do anything. You're going to keep complaining, just like I've done. I've done that so much, you know, and all you need to do is look at the look at reality and say, what is what would be better than it is today? OK, everybody in power hates me. Everybody in power would have me killed if I needed to, you know, if they wanted, if they could. If they had the power to do it, they would kill. They would kill me. Okay. How about you get someone in there who's indifferent? Oh no, but I don't like Indians. Uh, who? So what? Him being Indian is one of the is probably yeah, the primary he, reason he can say and do the things that he's saying and doing. Yeah. So what do you? I mean, I understand. I made the whole arguments about London and England and Scotland and Ireland and all these places too. Okay. What? what uh, I have a bigger voice than than I, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's somebody in the friggin' um, in the chat that has a, a bigger reach than I do. I've been saying that shit for how long now? What, what's it change? So what are you gonna do? You think Trump's gonna get rid of him? No. You think what's gonna happen? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, talk about talk, talk, if you want to talk about the Jews, if it comes up organically. You can mention it. You'd be like, wow, it seems like these people in, in London who control shit. Jason and I are there's a, about yeah. the Jews. <laughs> there's, already, <laughs> it, it, there's already a lot who are in London. You can talk about, you know, it's like, uh, I think Raging Mandrill said, uh, said like a year ago. He's, or No, I think it was, I can't remember who it was. But he said, you want, if you want to talk about the Jews, you can talk about them on, on Twitter all day. You can talk about them on social media all day. Just use their name. Yeah. Just use their name. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to mention that they're a Jew. People are going to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. But And still, what is it going to accomplish? I've been talking about the Jews now, and I've been reading books. I've been I'm doing whole episodes, talking about how Israel, the psychotic nation, really, what's it changed? What's your plan to change? Because I don't have one. I'm not an elite. What's the what's the plan to change? Well, I'm, I'm I'm glad you asked, Pete, 